The city of South Fulton is taking action to stop accidental shootings after a five year old girl was killed Thanksgiving Day. A funeral is being planned for Khalees Everhart after police say her three year old cousin got a hold of a gun and accidentally shot her. This is the third child to be hurt in an accidental shooting in South Fulton in the past year and the second to die. Our Don White spoke with the police chief about how the city is trying to prevent another tragedy. Father, we thank you one more time. It looks like the adult left a weapon underneath a sofa cushion and the child found it. South Fulton Police Chief Keith Meadows believes a three year old then shot and killed this little girl, Khalees Eberhardt, last Thursday. I sat down with my staff and we decided to come up with a gun safety program that would help us to educate our citizens to a much higher degree on gun safety to make sure that they're taking the proper precautions, whether it's uh, using gun locks or lock boxes or even um, unloading the weapons. Chief Meadows is working with a nonprofit to give gun locks like these to free for for people who live in South Fulton, as well as provide gun safety classes. We're partnering with some of our uh, gun experts in the community so that we can try to help facilitate these classes. There are several different kinds of locks to keep your gun safe. That includes a trigger lock. You can also get a cable lock. And the third option is to put your gun inside a lock box. One way to keep guns safe, certainly around children, is all, always have the firearm unloaded. If it's a semi-automatic pistol, not have the magazine in it. Arthur Banks with Arrowhead Pawn and Gun in Morrow says gun locks are also crucial for safety. This comes with most manufactured new guns. When and if gun your gun doesn't come with a lock like this one, Banks says you should buy one. Sandwich on the trigger guard, it covers the trigger or the trigger cannot be pulled. Chief Meadows hopes to launch the two initiatives in early 2022. One death is too many, but three is far too many as it relates to um, our children uh, finding weapons throughout their homes. The police chief says the district attorney's office is still reviewing whether any adults will face charges in Kalisa's death. The family has set up a fundraising account to pay for funeral expenses. You can find a link in this story on 11alive.com.